Hi, it's Paula from Fancy Like That Reese. I'm going to be making an attachment for wine bottle. Um, I'm gonna do a Valentine one. I think it's gonna be basically pinks, maybe a little gold, greenery, and silver. Um, this is gonna be the second one that I've, I've made. This one I made for Christmas. Um, I loved it. I put this, it was on this bottle of wine, but I put it on this one because I'm using this average sized bottle of wine to use to put these on. And then all I do is cut a little bit. I want a lip. The last one I didn't put a lip on this circular area where you put the foam and this is dry foam, but it's a softer dry foam. It's not like the um, styrofoam foam. Um, because I want a little more depth um, in order to put some of my greenery and items attachments. So I'm just going to start out and I think I'll start with some greenery. I did pre-cut these. So I'm this one's got a little bit of light green on the tips and then a little darker. I'm also thinking of putting um, some ever, well, it's not ever, um, it's not evergreen, it's eucalyptus, I believe, um, frosted, eucalyptus um, because February is still winter so I'm going to put a little bit of winter vibe in there also and then I've got well, I made this little little heart uh, attachment I'm going to put because it's pink and then I've got some roses um, that I can put kind of mauve and pink maybe together maybe just pink I'm not sure yet it will come as we go um, I was actually thinking I'm also putting a little bit of black in there because that would look really pretty with the pink and you can put black with um, Valentine's Day items so perhaps but I think this is going to be the first thing that I'm going and checking to make sure they don't come off real easy and um, I think I'm going to put this in. The, the trick about these is you have to keep it balanced because it is only on one side or, and so I'm going to kind of do a line first. Um, I'm not sure how much this I will put, but maybe this first one for the back, I'm going to kind of slant it this way. And let me move that just a smidge so you can see better. And I'm just gonna glue, put some glue. Now you gotta remember, this is not super deep. That is why I put the lip over the cup because it's a very small cup on the side where you put all of your attachments, all of your greenery, all, everything that you're going to do. Now I have a little bit of a side because of the lip and I'm, that's where I'm gonna put this very first one. Now you, this will slip, so you gotta kinda sometimes hold it a little bit, but I'm gonna put that in there. It seems secure, like that. And then I'm going to put one on the opposite side. Um, this is kinda thick. I'm not real thrilled about that thickness, but because you've got to really try to save your space on something like this. So maybe have it go point down a little further than the other one. A little bit of glue. And then you're just going to stick it down at the very, right by the edge of the cup. And I'm going to push it in pretty far because this one isn't as stiff as the other one. And see, yeah, I think that'll work. I already got glue on me. I'll put a little bit of glue right there. Make sure. You don't wanna put a heck of a lot of glue because what it'll do is make the glue hardens inside and then it'll keep you from putting more th items in your um, phone. So I wanna make sure that's gonna stay like that okay then I got this green that I showed you earlier I think that'll be my next layer I want it to be shorter and this shouldn't take 
terribly long, although it's gonna take me longer only because I'm letting you know every step that I, I'm doing and we're just gonna take our time. I think I'll put it on the, well, maybe not, maybe on the side also. And that looks good. I'll probably put more greenery there. Let's see if this curly cute thing, maybe on this side. Yeah. And I'm just gonna fill, you know, fill it up. First with the greenery and the, the white um, leaves. It's greenery technically, but in this particular one, it's white. But they're leaves. This is kind of a newer project or projects that I've been doing. Um, I think I'd like to make a few of them and uh, maybe even put them on my Etsy, in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna take this little glue that kind of comes up when you put something that's got glue on it into a base that way it doesn't harden the whole area this one i'm a little worried about but we will go forward and I think it's almost, oh it is, it's four minutes after 12 here in California. But I do my best creative work at night, to be honest. It's quiet. Nobody's coming in and out because I do have this set up in my kitchen because I have a huge island and so I utilize that also for our lives. But I do have a craft room but I'm waiting for the craft room um, she shed that we're building outside on the side of the house where I'm going to put a lot of my supplies because my craft room, I can barely get in there to find anything. It's just terrible. So I'm learning my lesson. Try to not be, you know, quite as messy or I guess really I just put too much in there. And then I have all of the finished items in protective bags hanging outside in the garage so you can imagine and in one of our guest bedrooms so you can imagine the amount of crafting and wreaths that we have in the house i want to get that taken care of and get it out of the most of it out of the house you know i just don't need it in the house we have a beautiful home and I'm trying to keep, keep it that way because I don't want all the wreath everywhere. Packing up a wreath also um, that was purchased uh, earlier today. It is my large nutcracker. Um, it's actually kind of a Christmas wreath, but it doesn't have anything that says Merry Christmas, but nutcracker kind of makes me feel you know, like it's... Christmas. So I got to pack that up huge. I got it to fit into a 24 by 24 by six and a half box, but that's still a large box. Um, I don't like to go over really over 22, maybe even 20 is even better, but a lot of my wreaths that I make are, are very big. So what am I going to do? And it is expensive to ship 
And on this particular wreath, I did um, put free shipping. A lot of the Christmas items, I did put free shipping. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. And they are quite expensive to ship, especially if you're ship shipping from California to um, back east. And we get so we get orders for back east most of the time. New York, New Jersey, you know, it's just I didn't know. I mean, glad to to send them out there, but it is a little more more expensive. Um, the one the uh, Nutcracker is actually going to San Antonio, Texas, so it's not quite as far. Not quite as far as the others. I'm still thinking about this black. I don't, if I did it, it would probably be right here, but I'm still, still thinking on that one. Let's see what else I'm gonna do. Here's my little ones that I cut. Oh, here they are. Okay. You'd be surprised, at least on this first one that I made um, a couple of months ago, it really actually, even though it's so small, you get quite a bit in there. And you have to use it quite a bit to hide the all of the foam. Some people would put moss on this, but by the time you finish, you don't see any of it. So I didn't do it on the first one anyway, so we'll see if this still works out without moss on it. So, and if you just wanted a green, greenery one, it would look beautiful just doing that. Um, I even brought out some pine with snow drift on it. Um, I may put that on the sides a little bit because technically it's still winter. And especially back east. Ugh, poor th the people back east. I feel so sorry for them, especially with the um, storms that they've been hit with and are going to be hit with. I know Iowa is going to be hit or is being hit a second time and it's supposed to be below zero minus 10 or 20 on uh, monday which is the day they vote so it's going to be quite chilly not chilly cold cold cold, cold to the bone that's what it's going to be let's see not sure if i want to put pine These are really sturdy. They're more wire, but not as thick as some of the others. This one, I was able to get down to that. So, I'm gonna put those in the side. Let me um, turn that a little bit so you can see, see what I've got so far. So, I'm just gonna kind of put a few of these pine just on the side, just to kind of give it, you gotta put some around the edge here, around the side where the lip is, otherwise you won't be able to cover all of that foam. Let's see. Got my TV on, I should probably turn that down a bit so you can't hear it. three just thinking I wouldn't put a whole heck of a lot of this pine in because I want to put the you know I want it to be a Valentine's Day you know it'd be such a great little gift that you could give your husband or your wife or your partner um, you could um, get them their favorite bottle of wine or whatever, vodka, whatever it is. You know, it'd have to be kind of circular, um, circular because this is a cylinder shape. So um, you would have to do that. But wouldn't that be, I would love getting that for Valentine's Day. Just, you know, get that and, you know, 
course, we don't sell the wine, don't have a liquor license, so we show them like this in on the bottle of wine, but we only sell this portion of it. And I will be posting this one. Yeah, and I'm gonna post the Christmas one also. Um, there's a ribbon in it, but the ribbon I just laid on the top, it's not even glued in. So, okay, let's see about, I think I'm gonna put one more, at least one more of the snowy looking um, eucalyptus, I think it is, kind of right there. And then we'll go from here. Then we'll start adding some roses, um, floral work, that looks doesn't that look pretty I may even put more of that I love this it's one of my favorite greeneries is the um, snow kind of looking um, eucalyptus so let's see I'm going to put I think these are going to be the two main roses let's see I'll just We'll just start that. I'm just going to cut that down to start with. I'm not putting it actually in, but okay. And this one is kind of like a um, kind of, it's actually kind of like foam. It's just that feels real kind of material. Um, it's pretty cool. So um, I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna start with that one. I have some smaller ones that are even paler, I think, than this. I think they are. And then I have a little, little bit of pink mauve kind of color that I think would be a nice uh, contrast. So we will um, probably put some of that in there. That, doesn't that look pretty? And I have another one. I think I'll hold off on that and start with, see the smaller, it's a little bit different pink, but you know, even in the same grouping of roses, when you plant them and they grow, they're not always the same exact color. Um, so this one is together, but I'm gonna wind up being separate because I've gotta cut them down and then they'll separate so we will see um let's see mm -hmm. okay i'm in my pajamas I, I have a sweater on but my bottoms i have i'm in my pajamas of course but after been out i guess probably should be in my pajamas okay now this is going to be hard i i don't know if i can Take this plastic that is around the edge. I don't know if you can see that. That's going to be harder to stick into the uh, foam. Um, I'm wondering if I can kind of peel some of that back. Let's see. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Just want it to be easier to put in. Maybe if I just cut it down. Kind of like cutting material, I guess. So that would be much easier to put in. So I am going to at least cut this back a bit and then it'll be easier to get um, into the foam and not take as much room, because room is premium on these little, these guys. Okay. Okay, see what I've done to make it a little bit easier to put in? And 
hopefully I won't be going any further than that. If I need to, I can certainly cut more off or cut the whole thing off, to be honest. I just hate to have to do each one of these. So I'm gonna cut my fingers. I just don't wanna tear apart the, oh, there it goes. Now it's coming off now. See how much easier that's gonna be, taking that off. That's cool. Okay, now. Put a few flowers in and then we'll go from there. Okay. And maybe let's see. Let's see how this mauve looks in there. It's glued at the top, so, oh, there we go. I was able to pull the whole thing off. I took the glue off there. So, let's see if that looks good in there. See, this thing will slip down, so you gotta hold it sometimes. Oh, I think that mob looks cute in there. What do y'all think? I like that. Okay. And then, let's see. I even have, I put them on a little um, zip tie just because I wanted to hang, I glued the tops on so that they wouldn't come off in case I do bundle them. But these are little hearts. Um, somehow I might put them on singly um, but I'm not sure yet I just want to get them out of the way let's see mm -hmm. now I do have a little pink lollipop that was from early Christmas season but it's pink and it might be might be cute in there also this heart I'm going to eventually put in, but let's see, and I have some gold, um, some gold hearts that I might, might put in there. I'm going to cut these down and see where they would best be. Maybe... We're just gonna go for it. really cute. Okay, I like that. Um, I have a gold. That's a little, that's obviously different gold, so not that it has to be exact, but I did have some white. Um, got, also got these little guys. I can put them at, put in there, but I wanted to put some white, a little bit of white in here. This is, I think this is angel hair or maiden's hair kind of plant. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that leaf. I do not. So let's see. I wish it was a little wider. Oh, here. Look at this. Okay. 
got these from Hobby Lobby, so they're just little white flowers. So I save all the tags um, until I've added everything up so that I know how much I put into a piece, um, into a, you know, a project, so that I know, you know, better what to charge and if I'm going to sell it. Um, makes it much easier to figure out how much you're gonna, you know, you need to sell it for because you do need to, you know, make a profit. Um, not a, a killing, but a profit. Um, so, let's see, yeah, I think that'll be better. Even though it's kind of springy, but see, you have a little snow with a few little flowers, spring flowers, peeking through. That's what happens in nature, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I really like that, um, and a pop of white so let's see where we can put that okay <laughs> want to hold it Put a couple of these around so that um, they're distributed not evenly but you want to have a little bit of show of in around it so it flows a little bit better We've got some space we definitely have to um, cover right here next to the bottle. And you'll know if you hit something that's already in there because it will not go in then. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty. I think I want one kind of around here. I'm not sure can get it in there, but I definitely think there's a pop of white that needs to go. Okay, right about, not sure if I'm hitting the right place. Okay, there. Okay, wish me luck on this one going to be a little more difficult to get in because now I have glue on it so it's going to want to stick along the way. So you just got to go through. There we go. Just popping out. Just to popping out a little bit. I'm wondering. I don't want to get it too terribly heavy either, but um, Okay, now let's see, we put it on this side. Maybe we should be putting another one on this side. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut that down just a little. Let's see where, I'm not sure, should I put it this way? I'm not even sure, maybe I should change the angle of that. No, I guess that, that's going to tell me no. So, kind of want the green a little bit under that, kind of lift that up a bit. There we go. And then we'll put another one that's going down, downwards a bit. Okay, now that it's starting to get full, it is gonna be a little more difficult to get things where you want them and to make sure that it's balanced properly. So it's kind of like a little touch and go thing. Don't want to 
go into that place because there's something there. Okay, let's see, it bent it. So that something is there. So I will have to take a closer look. And see where I can put it. Try it again. Hopefully I'm gonna straighten this and maybe just cut it down a little bit. Maybe it won't go in quite as far. We will see. And here we go. Just a little. There we go. Okay. So it is getting full, and you can see the one hole. See where we're gonna have to put something and um, make sure that it's covering the foam because that is right next to the bottle, and I want to make sure that everything is covered. So. Um, should I put another, maybe a mauve? Okay, see it just has a dab of glue. If I take that off, I think I can slip it right out like I did the other ones, yep. So maybe going close to the um, bottle. Cut it down because you don't have as much space. And let's glue this stem up and see how it fits next to the bottle or thereabouts. I just want to angle it so that it's not showing the greenery. See, that helped. Just that one rose. Now I am going to have to have more greenery here or something because there's still a hole there. And you just kind of want to look below to see. Okay, and I will need more here. So on both sides, I will need, I've got holes on both sides underneath. So I'm going to have to get some more greenery, um, cut some more greenery, or this isn't as white, but I might give it another tone. No, I don't think so. I just kind of threw my leftover kind of stuff that, you know, um, I had thinking, okay, um, this might help. So let's see what else I've got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do have these. And... to make it valen more of a valentine. Let's see. I mean... Okay. That might go. That's pink. So, okay, we'll keep those in mind. I wanted to put this one in, so it's only one I have that I made. I thought, I'm just going to make these. I'm going to cut it down just a little. See how high I want it up there. I use, this is just floor, heavy floral wire. And then I just cut it down and then put two and two on each of these hearts. And just stuck them together. Put the little thing in the middle. Just to... gonna look cuter there. Maybe I should put a bow around it. Let's see. I don't really even know 
of the glitter bit. I'm going to put it just in case because what you could do if you didn't glue it, if you just put certain things, you know, like the um, seasonal things, items in it without glue, you could just pull those out after the particular holiday and then you'd have a, still have a beautiful wine attachment um, that wasn't seasonal, but it was every day. Okay. See how pretty that is? Oh, wouldn't you love to give that, you know, to your loved one? And I'm sorry, guys, if anybody, guys, are watching here and have a girlfriend or um, someone that loves flowers, um, these don't die, and they look beautiful. And wouldn't that be cute to give for Valentine's instead of the typical, you know, flowers that die in three days? Um, or a few days, I should say. I don't know. Depending. Depending on what type you got. I feel like roses die quicker. I don't know. I, I don't have good luck with them. My husband's always buying roses for me. But let me see. I think I'm going to have to use a little more of this greenery, which is great for texture. But I'll have to cut some, some more off. So let's do that. Pull them off, don't be afraid. Just do what I did and just pull them apart. And then the stuff comes right off. And then cut it to the length that you that you want. Thinking. Now I'm working the to be sure that we cover the foam on each side here so i'm going to put this which will probably lift this a bit which i think needs it lift it i should have put it at a little bit different angle but you live and learn and hopefully it'll go in there it's just to cover the some of the foam and then maybe lift up this a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Now I really am thinking of putting some of that pine that Where's that? that pine? Here's where I cut the, the pine. Um, and putting it under here where there is still the lip of the um, over the cup. And I think that will take care of all that is showing. So let me see. Yeah, that's really pretty really pretty okay it's not too I don't think it's too gaudy for Chris for um, Valentine and like I said I think you could pull these little guys out real quick and maybe even put something else in there um, for a different season If it will go in. Oops. Need more glue. Okay. Hopefully I won't run into other stems because that's at the end when you're trying to really make sure you've covered all your holes so nothing shows. It, sometimes you run you run into that problem, running into other things that you've already put in there that are taking up space in the foam. And 
my um, mint one of my mentors um, Julie Samako she's amazing she's been doing it for like 15 years or so she teaches you to make a you know find a line you know that you're going to follow and that's why she goes down and up quite a bit or if you're going to go modern you can do it modern um, so I really like this especially for a bottle I love it part of it being up and part of it being a little bit down so I am still going to put a little more of this in so I'm going to cut these off and yeah I tear them off too see just tear them down a bit and then cut them see there we go That will probably take care of that, most of that spot. And it still looks wintry. can move this around to so you can see the front of the bottle and the name of it but it's just it's, you could I used that my this other one in the house I used it as part of a Christmas um, decoration on one of my little um, tables on my island and I got so many compliments on it it was just so cute okay now And I'll take a picture of it. Um, that's what I do on everything that I make. I take a couple of pictures first before I say, okay, I'm you know, completely finished. Because um, sometimes pictures show some flaws that you, you didn't see or something, you know, a hole or something that you did not catch. See, I'm catching another one right there. But I'm thinking maybe I don't know about these. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have any more of that. I think. Let me think about this. I really wanted to put these in there, but I just don't know how I would get it in there. You know, I could tie it with a bow around there and put the heart, a heart or one of the hearts around it, but I got to think about it and photo it. But I still think I need a greenery, another green, or maybe more white, more white flowers. How about that? Let's see if that'll do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I wish this one, this one looks like it came off of a stem. That might not, not be too bad either, but I need to put, make a stem for it. So I'm not sure about it. So maybe, possibly, I could. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't because it's pretty flimsy otherwise. And it wouldn't really stick in there. Here's what I'm gonna do. Cut off those bottom leaves. It gives you a longer place to make your floral stem. You just put it alongside, it has a wire attached to it. And you just you know, go far enough so that it stabilizes it, hopefully. And then just wrap it around both the stem of the leaf and the pick, floral pick. And then put a little tape. Then I don't know if you if you have never used floral tape. It's really one of my least favorite things to use because it makes your fingers feel really weird, sticky. Not just a different. You have to pull these to activate the stickiness, and then just wrap the floral tape around both the stem, 
see how wiggly it is, and the floral pick. Okay, that did not. Okay, I'm gonna, the wire came out. Hope that this works. I'm gonna try it anyway. And this is not, it's just a weird stickiness um, feel. So here's what you've got. And then you can put it into the foam. So I'm going to see if I have room so that I have a little more of this down here. be cute. That work. Okay. I'm going to try it. Okay. This floral tape's just not the best. Okay. And that, that really helps with the pulling out this one, the bottom one, because it was kind of hidden and it brings it out. So I do like that. And let's see, do I want this or that? Try another one of these for underneath. I know I'm taking longer than you normally would, but I'm talking to you guys and thinking about it. You know, it's not something that I, you know, necessarily designed. I just brought a lot of stuff out that I thought might be okay in using and um, just kind of went for it. Yeah. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, I love doing these things, so I think, well, might as well um, videotape it and maybe somebody will enjoy it also. So I will probably post this on my YouTube channel. I need to do that more consistently for sure. Okay, so that kind of keeps that all lifted up too. So there is a reason for everything, right? Method to my madness. So, okay, I think I might add a bow, but I'm going to photo first, and then I might, you know, somehow, I could just kind of drop those in, but we'll see. I might, when you see the final picture of it, it might be, have a little, a few add-ons, but I appreciate you guys, and if you're not following us, um, it's Fancy Like That Reeves. We are on YouTube, we're on TikTok, and IG, and Pinterest. So come visit us, and if you would love, we also have an Etsy shop um, under the same name. It's, if you just go fancy like that, reese.etsy.com, you can go right to our um, shop and take a look at what we've got. I don't have any of these in the shop yet, but um, I will be doing that in the next day or two, and this would be just a great Valentine's Day gift. Now, of course, again, don't sell it with the wine, just the attachment. So, um, and it would be easy and quick to ship. So, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please follow us um, if you enjoyed this or and follow our Etsy shop if you like. That way you can see the new items that we add and when we add them. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend.